man. <laughs> Hello, world. What is up? Welcome to Build. I'm your host, Matt Forte. We are here live at the Build Studio in New York City, 13 years after the original took the world by storm and introduced us to the likes of Efron, Tisdale, and Hudgens. Disney Plus is... Well, sure, yeah, all right. <laughs> You, yeah, you should applaud. They're amazing. Uh, Disney Plus's high school musical, the musical, the series, is, as the name implies, a hilarious, smart, super meta take on the franchise that is both nostalgic and completely new all at the same time. Uh, the series follows a group of students as they count down to the opening night of their school's first ever production of High School Musical, which naturally takes place at East High, the real world school used to film the original movies. Guys, this show is amazing. The cast is crazy talented. And today, I'm fortunate enough to have literally all of them. So, yep, they're all here. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise because the cast of High School Musical, the musical, the series is here. My God. I'm excited. They're excited. You're on notice at home. You better be excited as well. This is going to be amazing. Uh, we'll get started in just a moment, but first, I believe we have a trailer for the show. So let's go ahead, run that clip. When I heard that the high school where High School Musical was shot had never staged a production of High School Musical, the musical, I was shocked, inspired, and triggered as a millennial. Auditions are after school. I've seen the original movie 37 times and the first 15 minutes of both sequels. It would be insane to think I might actually have a shot at playing Gabriella. I know we're not a couple anymore. It was my idea to take a pause. I didn't want to take a pause. I can't believe it. She's dating E.J. Haswell. This is a nightmare. OK, theater people. I want to audition for Gabriella. Ryan, right? I think he'd rather play Sharpay. That is so fresh. I'm bummed that we don't have any competition here. She has to see me in a whole new light. I'm auditioning for this thing tomorrow, and nothing is going to stop me. The cast list is posted. <gasps> we have our Gabriella and our Troy. Buckle up, Wildcats. It's about to get real. I basically have zero chill about this right now. What are you doing here? If you really cared about me, you'd let somebody who wants to play this part play it. You all walked in here as strangers. But after today, you're a family. I believe in us. Excuse me. Is there somewhere you're supposed to be? Broadway. Ladies and gentlemen, crazy amount of noise for the cast of High School Musical, the musical, the series. Keep going. Come on. You guys are incredible. Congratulations. This show is so much fun. Uh, it is so smart, and it is so funny, and you are all ridiculously talented. It is great to have you here. Thank you for being here. Uh, everyone, at once, raise your mics. How are we all doing? Let's go. Let's make it Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. It is so exciting to have you guys here. Uh, you know, we are a week away from the official launch of Disney Plus, and uh, there are there is mountains of amazing stuff that's going to be there, but you guys, uh, it's you and I think the Mandalorian are the two scripted originals. That's cool company to be keeping. That's pretty neat, right? That's fun. Uh, and another great perk is I saw some of you met the dogs from Lady and the Tramp recently. Did that happen? Did that? Who yeah. got to meet the Lady and the Tramp dogs? Uh, I think it was, it was I think it was. Yeah. yeah, me, Dara, yeah. Julia, and, and Frankie. Yeah. I'm so yeah. jealous. It was so nice. I wasn't there. <laughs> they were the sweetest little dogs I've ever oh seen. My God. In my I was so life. emotional. Yeah. Is the chemistry <laughs> real? Yeah. Is it is it real or is oh. it all for the camera? Do they get along, the lady in the tramp? Oh, no, they get along great. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I was starstruck. Yeah. It's important to me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of, course. of course. I wanted that to be the case, and I'm yeah. happy that it is. Uh, well, I want to go through just like what a crazy ride this has been for everybody. Um, you know, the reviews are coming out already, and, and people are loving the show. What's it like to, to have put all this hard work in? People are finally getting to see it, and they love it. It. What's, what's that feel like? Go around, everybody. Whoever wants to talk first. Um, it's it's crazy. We uh, we filmed for six or seven months in Salt Lake City, and uh, this show is all of our children. I think we. <laughs> it's like it, it was a dream for all of us. I think at least for myself. And um, every day was magic on set. Every single day. I, I I say this all the time, but I cried more times on this set than I did in the last like three years. <laughs> um, just we'd all stay late to watch people work. We'd come on our days off. You know so. To be able to give the, that to the world is really uh, pretty cool, but it's still, it's it's just crazy. It was a magical experience all the way around. So 
it's we, exciting to hand it off. We've been talking this week. We've all almost known each other for a year now. Wow. Um, and we, of course, we just found out that we're going to be going back and doing this all again for Congratulations. Hold for applause. <laughs> Season two is happening. <laughs> it's happening. Uh, so we're just so excited because we love each other so much and, and there's so much chemistry here and, and it's just incredible. Yeah, you can feel it. You guys, it feels like you've been best friends forever. Just like in saying, I only got to know you for a couple of seconds backstage, but there's like so much love amongst this cast. Uh, how did you guys find out uh, that season two was going to happen? How did you get a phone call? Was it on the internet? How did you find out? They, like, we were all together. We were doing a press junket that nice. day. And they're like, oh, come here. We want to like pull you guys all into a room and show you like a trailer that you've never seen before. And we want to film your reaction to the trailer. And like Josh over here was like, that's weird. Why are they filming our reaction? I called it, trailer? literally called it the day before. <laughs> yeah, he totally called it. Um, I had no idea though, but they, they pulled us in and they showed us this thing and they're like, oh, also you guys are getting a season two. And it was crazy. Everybody just started like bursting out into tears. A lamp fell down. Sophia. Like, Dara broke a nail. <laughs> yeah, Dara broke a nail. Like, I lost my chaos. voice for two days. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then we walked out of the room, and like all of the executives and um, you know, producers and everybody that made it happen was out there um, giving us hugs and stuff. It was just, it was a really a magical day. I'm just so excited to spend six more months in Salt Lake City with my best friends. Yeah. Sounds really exciting. Um, you know, talking about being in Salt Lake City, uh, just real quick, show of hands, and we'll go around. Who, I think you guys, most of you were like six or five when the original came out, like give or take, right? My yes. in the ballpark. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's Thank true. Thank you, Kate. That's yes, but as was I. <laughs> And, um, but, but, you know, obvious question you've answered a million times, but I just want to get a read. Who, who were fans of the series coming into this? Who watched a lot growing up? Who, who had a c deep connection to this world before being a part of it? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah. I grew up watching the movies with my sister. I was two when the first movie came out, so I wasn't necessarily, like, totally there for it. <laughs> uh, but um, I really loved it, and I kind of caught on to the tail end. And I was lucky enough to, like, win tickets to the third premiere, which was crazy. So le that was almost exactly, like, 11 years ago, um, which, yeah, it's it's insane now that I'm able to be a part of this, um, something that I've dreamt of my whole life and with people that I love so much and are insanely talented. That's so nuts. Hang on. So you won tickets. It's 11 years ago. Yeah, what'd you do? <laughs> okay, <laughs> starting. <laughs> Um, I actually, it was at my local mall, they were holding um, this competition to win tickets to the High School Musical 3 premiere. Um, so you could win four tickets, and thankfully my whole family is the four of us. Um, and so they would fly us out to LA for the premiere, because I'm originally from Arizona. And I walked down this little red carpet and strut my moves, and they were good enough, I guess. And I won tickets for my family, and we got to go. And oh my gosh, there's this picture of us on the carpet, and we're all wearing matching High School Musical outfits. It's a good oh fit. God. It's really cute. Was that before? Like, did you know that you wanted to be an actor and be in this world before any of that? Or was that night, like, that crystallized, like, I must walk down this carpet forever? <laughs> <laughs> and thus the legacy of yeah. Sophia Wiley was born. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think I've always been somebody who loves the camera. Like, I'll look back at, like, these camcorder videos that my parents have. And I'm always like, oh, show me, show me. I want the camera. But I don't think I ever really knew that I wanted to pursue this as a career um, until I was, I was much older. So much older, meaning like five years later <laughs> when I was 10. <laughs> but yeah. You had I matured a little bit. You had seen a little bit more of the world. A little yeah. more brain capacity. Yeah. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, out of all of you, did any of you not have that experience as a child of like, oh, there's a camera and I want to perform? Like, have you always felt like this was what you wanted to do? Right, generally speaking, I, I I was a little scared. I was you were? Like, yeah, because I was like, it's gonna be forever, y'all. So, <laughs> so I was scared, but I just feel like growing up, like I gained the confidence, and I feel like a lot of teenagers and a lot of kids like are still gaining that confidence, and I feel like it's okay to like learn to gain that confidence, cause mm -hmm. sis, <laughs> I did not have it. <laughs> but yeah, it was it's a magical experience. This whole. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna cry. Oh. <laughs> and I think we all kind of grew up as theater kids a little bit too. Like we all did musical theater growing up and now we're on this show that like centers around um, like drama kids in high school, which is pretty cool, uh, pretty meta. Yeah. yeah, it's just layer on layer on layer. What was it like walking into that school for the first time and being in the Matt, school? Matt has the best line, go ahead, about you at the so school. I, I didn't think it was possible to be starstruck by a building. There you go. <laughs> but I, like I genuinely was starstruck by a building. It was weird. It's a presence. 
It it's a, a big, pr- it's a it's huge a massive, building. Massive, yeah. massive, massive building. building. And everything is still there. Like yeah. the pink locker, the iconic um, cafeteria. It's all the same. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, Mark, Kate, just real quick. What is it like working with all of these incredibly talented children? <laughs> I love them all. <laughs> and they are my kids now. As you can tell, the, by the way, I boss them around. Um, it's great. I mean, it's great. I, I am constantly learning from them. They, they like awaken this part of me that I didn't know I had. And so they, they enliven this like childlike joy that I sometimes have fallen out of touch with. So every time they celebrate, like it lights me up. Yeah. And so and they are feel young us and old at, at the same time. time. Yeah. Same well, yeah, I use the term children loosely. Some of you are literally taller than me and have seen more of the world. So you guys are, <laughs> you're pretty, you're doing pretty all right. Uh, but no, I can imagine it's got to be a great vibe. What you know, we talk about how there's already like this familial vibe amongst the cast, and it's just barely been a year. Did you guys do stuff while you were in Salt Lake City? Like, did you like bonding experience, go places, and do things oh, yeah. together, and kind of like work on that? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Go the the very first week that we were in Salt Lake City, um, we were put into a conference room for like a week and a half uh, for like an eight hour work day. It sounds and like they have like no food. They just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they lock yeah, in. no, no yeah, bathroom yeah, breaks. Wall. Like no, no. <laughs> Windows. Exactly, yeah. Uh, no, they, they put us in a room with games, and they were just, like, bond and talk and hang out, and that really, like, just kicked off the best relationship we could have had. I mean, in the beginning, we were a little bit like, okay, like, we're all in a conference room for eight hours, cool. But then, like, we realized how important that was. And then from there, we had game nights. We went to movies. Um, Yellow I mean, Finn. Yellowfin. That's right. Shout out Yellowfin. It's a really good restaurant in Salt oh. Lake City. <laughs> um, yeah, we just, I mean, yeah. And also, like, like to, every time we see each other, we, like, freak out. And everyone's like, oh, my God, when was the last time you saw each other? We're like, uh, yesterday. <laughs> like, we literally just love each other so much. It's amazing. <laughs> Did you guys, like, develop your own language after something like that? Or like, <laughs> you all just really responded to positively it. to yellow fins, so that's a, we, that's we a trigger word. We that's definitely a- have a lot of inside jokes, I would say. There's so many things that we can just like quickly look at someone and be like, oh, and, and then it's a whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this show does an incredible job of grounding the, the fantastical like fantasy world of like high school musical. It brings it into the real world. All of the musical numbers take place within like the context of a real situation, which I think is really cool uh, and really well done. But there are these huge numbers, and there's a ton of work that goes into that, a, a lot of rehearsing. I'm curious, did it feel like you guys were putting on a, a play more than a show? Did it, what did it feel like getting ready for this? Um, I think because Tim Federley, the creator of the show, uh, was a Broadway man himself. Yes, Tim. Um, and because we all grew up doing musical theater, as much as this is a TV show, it felt like we were putting on a musical. Like, because the bond that we all have. Um, yeah. So it, and, and then when we were doing it, like, because obviously the show leads up to the putting on High School Musical. And uh, when we were doing the show, you know, they have 300 extras there. We're on stage. And they're filming, but it legitimately felt like I was like 14, like on stage at my like a community theater. Yeah, so <laughs> it was very weird, but yeah, definitely. Do you guys ever have? You're all performers. You ever have that nightmare where you're doing a play that you haven't done in a really long time and you don't know the lines? You guys are Always. shaking your heads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always. I don't think I've been on stage since I was in like high school, and I still remember. Like I'll have a dream where it's like we're doing Shakespeare again, and it's like I don't remember anything. But Always I guess Shakespeare. We'll, I guess we'll make it work. Like we'll never figure find it a out. Script. It's ter- yeah. Terrible. Another hallmark of the theater experience are the warm-ups. Did you guys have any fun warm-ups before you would say? Because I saw some fun videos of you guys moving around. I didn't know if you were just... I think, I think we've done the... Th- yeah. <laughs> yeah, like the obligatory high school musical warm-up, yes. Pretty amazing. Did you guys know when you were auditioning for this, did you know that it was high school musical, or was it like a secret project? Yeah, you, my yeah they told thing. us. It was pretty... They were pretty yeah. clear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? I mean, the, the title, I don't think... It was just, I thought it was just High School Musical at the time, so, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't High School Musical, the musical, the series. All the colons. Yeah. What did you think when you saw that for the first time? I think it's, yeah. Yeah, I think it's great. (laughs) Hilarious. 
I think it's great. It really, it does, until you watch the show, you don't realize how much it really nails the tone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's just so much uh, humor infused and so much tongue-in-cheek and so much self-awareness. Uh, and it also, it reminds me a lot, because it does that little bit of that mockumentary style, like, you know, uh, Office, Parks and Rec, like a Mighty Wind, kind of like all those sort of things. Do you guys have a favorite mockumentary movie or TV show that you watch? The Office, the office. For sure. I think... All right, you know what? <laughs> That's like, let's take Office off the table. That's the easy <laughs> one. Give me your second favorite. Waiting for Guffman. Nice. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Good pull. Yes. yes. Um, Does Arrested Development count? It's sort of Maki style, right? Well, yeah. It's like, it's like looser. Yeah. And, you know, it, interesting, because they don't do the talking heads, right? Arrested yeah, Development I guess they that, don't. But no. they do the voiceover. Yeah. So I don't know, the narration. But it's he's not even in it. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> That's a great What do you guys point. think? Show of hands. Arrested Development. Does that count as a mockumentary? Show of hands. Yes. <laughs> Nobody. Oh. You've never, never seen, seen it. Arrested Yikes. Yikes. Fair enough. But we did get one vote for yes. Thank you, brave soul. Cool. But that's still no. That's only one vote, so I guess yes. not. All right, well then, uh, Parks and Rec. How's that? Parks and Rec. That's a great one as well. Mm. Um, I really like Fleabag. She addresses the camera all the time. Like, she yes. breaks fourth wall. Yeah. Ooh. When you guys, oh, what were you going to say, Dara? Oh, I was going to say American Vandal. I feel like that's kind of yes. funny. That too. Yes. I was like laughing. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> my high school. <laughs> Um, yeah, how much as uh, as you know as fantasy driven as this is, how much does it remind you of your actual high school experience? What like one hundred percent? Really? I am Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> there's just like the next question. Yeah, <laughs> there's so like so many storylines that I would read, not even just with my character, but some of like the other characters too. And I was like, that that happened. That that was me. Yeah. I, I think that's like like what draws us all to this project so much is that it, it depicts real life high school and real life theater like so well especially because Tim Federley was like you know grew up a musical theater kid himself so he like it just perfectly nails what real high school theater is like and it's amazing. Right. And Sophia and I are actually in high school right now. Yeah. Um, I'm a junior and she's a sophomore. And so this is literally our high school experience yeah. with these guys. And it's just it's like the best. best. Like these are my <laughs> these are my high school pals. So yeah. That's pretty amazing. I had um uh Gaten Matarazzo from Stranger Things was on here recently. He was talking to me about how uh, over the years he's balanced being in like regular school and being in TV school and like going back and forth. Have how have you guys navigated that and like kept up in the being in those two different worlds? Yeah. Has that been hard? <laughs> he didn't say it was easy. I'm gonna tell no, you right it's now. definitely not easy. And many a time, Sophia and I are like, girl, how behind are you? We're really behind. We got to work so hard. Yeah. Um, but Disney is really great about always making yeah. education a priority. And obviously, it is for us. Like That comes before anything. Um, education is so important. So, uh, But yeah, catch Sophia and I studying at a library near you. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go over to the audience in a second because I want to make sure we have enough time for everybody's questions uh, of those watching at home and those in the room as well. But uh, this is a really exciting thing. I mentioned at the top of the show that, yes, we are a week away from the official launch of Disney+. Plus. Uh, obviously, we'll all be watching there. But this Friday, I believe, at 8 p.m. on, like, every channel uh, um, you can catch the the, the show's going to premiere which is super exciting so everybody everywhere can see it and just see how amazing you guys are what are you guys doing for the premiere are you having a big party what's going on yeah i think we're all hanging out at the hotel we're gonna get a suite and just chill out and watch it yeah have you guys watched it together before have you seen any of it together before yeah, yeah. We have. like yeah. 700 times <laughs> but it never gets old but it, never it never gets, gets old, old. Like it's, never. it's still fun yeah. that's amazing <laughs> oh my god I love that so much alright that's fantastic well thank guys again congratulations it's so it, it, it's such a fantastic show it's so much fun to watch and, and such a cool thing for you guys to be a part of I'm so excited for all of you and excited for season 2 oh my god so cool um, so we're gonna go yes keep them loud more more of that um all right, let's get to some of the questions. The first one's coming to us from Twitter. This is from <laughs> at Edward is the man. No argument here, Edward. Uh, what is your favorite song from High School Musical? Great question. Uh, Should we go around? around? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, I'm like a fanatic, so I know every song, and it's just going in my head. Um, I Want It All with Sharpie and Ryan. Thank you, thank you. Um, they did the Bob Fosse dance, and I was like, oh, goals, I need to learn it. It was just... The set, the design, the music, the choreography. Perfection. <laughs> Perfection. Um, when There Was Me and You is my favorite. I always cry every time. Uh, you Are the Music and Me from High School oh, Musical 2. Yeah. Yeah. Fabulous by Sharpe. Yes. Of, course, of course, Scream. It's just so intense. I love it. <laughs> it's just so intense. Fabulous. <laughs> Sorry, sis. I said fabulous. Oh. Guys, come on. <laughs> Bop to the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. come on. 
I mean, status quo is like, mm -hmm. you know, the pinnacle of high school musical songs. And yeah, it's the best. <laughs> that one. I like Bop to the Top because I really like the costume. Yes. And the moment I was like fully invested in high school musical was Get Your Head in the Game. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's so funny because that's the. Oh, right? <laughs> it's like they were singing to you. Get your head in the game. Get invested in this world. Do it. That and it, it worked. They were talking to me. That was exactly. it. Yeah, that song was for you. <laughs> did you guys, uh, coming into this project, did you uh, go back and rewatch the, the old ones? Did you, or, okay, that's a lot of yeses. I was going to say. Yeah. We actually well, went to Matt's apartment. They had a movie room in his apartment, yeah. and we watched, like, all three of them yeah. in, like, one night. What's your movie room look like? What's, what's going on there? <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> Let me tell you that first Start off. With that. No, it was the, the apartment <laughs> complex I was in, like had a full blown movie theater. So I was like, hey, you guys want to come watch like the first three movies the first weekend we're there? Like, get ready for us. What a cool thing for your apartment right? to have. Mm -hmm. right. Mine has a community room, which has like a couch in it. it but like, like to have a full. TV. Yeah, exactly. To have like a full theater. That's. Yeah. Which was also our game room, too. We, we played, we had game night at least once a week, yeah. if not yeah. twice. Yeah. Party at Matt's house. All right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Uh, awesome. We've got a few more questions. Let's do it. I think there's a microphone on a stick, so go to that. Hey. Hello. Hi, guys. Um, I just wanted to say first, I'm really, really excited for the show. Um, I was at a Halloween party the other day and made everybody like gather around and watch the trailer. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, my question is, if you could pick one High School Musical song to represent your experience on the show, what would it be? Oh. Fabulous. <laughs> uh, we're all in this together. That's it. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Like. This is my crew. You guys are the best. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll probably get your head in the game, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Like Mark. Yeah. This one doesn't really go with it, but like the we gotta work this out. That one, oh, just because yeah. the dance is cool, but like I don't know about the actual message. <laughs> Ooh, bet on it. Oh. Okay. Yes. Oh. Bet on that. Song. We're just naming all songs now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just the whole track. <laughs> Have we named every song yet? From. Okay, can I do uh, one more? I want to do one more. Perfect, because there's no way I'm skipping you, sir. Yeah. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys. How's it going? My name is Danny. I have two questions for you. What team? Wildcats! What team? Wildcats! Wildcats! Get your head in the game! That's what we're talking about. That was two questions. Thank you, Danny. We're going to wrap things up. I want to... I'm kidding. Go. Uh, oh, my God. My heart. Um, I'm currently in a production of High School Musical. Yes! Um, I'm, like, living, like you said, Sophia. Like, I can't believe this happened. Like, 10 years ago, I would have never thought I'd be in a production of High School Musical. So, like, I'm so appreciative. Like, so I appreciate life so much now, and I'm just so happy I get to perform and be an actor, singer, dancer like you guys. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any advice for an actor, singer, dancer like me? And what's, like, the most challenging thing you guys have faced? So, fun fact, yeah. my first show ever when I was eight years old was High School Musical wow. at my local community theater. I was JV Jock number two, <laughs> and here we are. That's what's up. That's what's so up. just keep going and follow your dreams, and someday you'll get there. I, I promise. Yeah. Thanks. Congratulations! That's yes! so exciting. Yes! Uh, Break a leg. Congratulations on season two. I'm so excited. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. You're, You're so gonna much. kill it. I'm so happy you guys are the next generation. Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Yes! Thank you so much for that. Thank you all of you for being such a great audience uh, and coming and hanging out with us and asking such great questions. Uh, and, and I can't say it enough, sincerely, this show is wonderful. You are all very wonderful. Uh, I wish I had another hour just to go into all the amazing moments that each of you have. The, the duets, the, the solos, the performances in this show are just fantastic. You're all super talented. I mean that. Uh, and this thing's really funny and great. So congrats on this show. Uh, I want to remind the world, if you are not aware, Disney Plus is launching a week from today. Uh, and this show is going to be their day one. Also, The Mandalorian so, you know, and the Jeff Goldblum. There's a lot of good stuff. Honestly, get in for this, but stick around for everything else that's going to be there. Uh, and also this Friday at 8 on, I, I wrote it down, Disney Channel, I think Freeform, where else? Am I missing one? AB. Of course, ABC. It's going to be everywhere. Uh, so you can catch it this Friday at 8. Uh, we'll all be watching together. One more time, everybody, crazy amount of noise and love for the High School Musical, the musical, the series, the cast. <laughs>